Today, I'm going to tell you about a skill that I think is definitely necessary in 2024 for you to have as a software engineer, or if you're pursuing software engineer or developer roles in 2024. Hi, I'm Rishab and welcome to my channel, Rishab in Cloud, where I talk about cloud DevOps and sometimes coding. So my friend Gwen created this video a few days ago, and basically she's telling how it's not possible to become a cloud engineer without coding now. The job market is looking for people who can code. And if you don't know how to code, you're at disadvantage. And this advice was for cloud engineers. So basically, they're encouraging cloud engineers to learn how to code in either JavaScript, Python, or whatever the preference of the individuals are to make them better suitable for the job market in 2024. After watching that video, I thought that but, you know, once I started to think about my life, the reverse advice of this is also true. So if you're a software engineer or you are a recent graduate looking for software engineering roles in 2024, cloud computing should be one skill that you should be good at. And I really think it's an important skill to have in your toolkit because on-prem servers are a thing of a past. So even though there are companies that might have on-prem data centers, most of the companies and services that you might work for or the code that you'll write will reside on servers that are in the cloud or companies might be using a managed service in the cloud. So it's crucial to familiarize yourself with these cloud platforms. So I'm going to tell you now why you need cloud skills. And here are I don't know, we'll see, maybe four or five reasons why you should have cloud skills. So the first one is enhanced employability. So it doesn't matter what you choose. It could be AWS, Azure, or GCP. If you know these cloud platforms or any one of them, you'll be in high demand compared to other software engineers because companies are hungry for talent with cloud experience. Second, I think, is the accelerated development so one of the things about on-premises infrastructure is it's complex to manage, whereas cloud provides you with pre-built services for everything from databases and storage to networking and security. This allows you to focus on what you do best, which is writing code and building application. The third is scalability and agility. So imagine building an application that can seamlessly scale up to serving millions of users or scale down to conserve resources and the expenditure during quiet periods. That's the power of cloud. So it allows you to build flexible, adaptable, and always available applications. The fourth is embracing innovation. So the cloud, as you know, opens doors to cutting edge technologies. And you might have heard about this. First one being serverless, and then you have containerization. And now it's AI. So I guess I had five. So here's the fifth one, which is collaborative development. And I'm talking about CDEs. So these are cloud development environments like GitHub Code Spaces and Gitpod. And I've been using these with all of the projects that I built in 2023, or at least most of them. These are basically environments that are set up in the cloud and you don't have to deal with dependency issues or your local environment being corrupted or something. So you can utilize containers in the cloud as a closed cloud environment for your project. But it also helps developers, testers, and other stakeholders to collaboratively work within a project. So with that, I also wanted to include one of the articles that I wrote for St. Lawrence College, which is also the college that I graduated from. Uh, if you want to know about, more about my journey, there are some videos on my channel talking about you know, what I did. So I don't have a computer science degree, but I do have a two-year diploma in computer networking. And I wrote an article for the college magazine talking about what is cloud and why students should learn cloud, uh, specifically people that are pursuing careers in tech. And I also did some research regarding the job opportunities that were in the market. So I have mentioned some of these stats that you can see on the article. I'll leave the link for this article below if someone is interested in reading it. But yeah, I'll say invest in your future, 
learn cloud computing if you are a software engineer or a developer or you're pursuing that as a career for 2024 and you can start your cloud journey today. I have an open source GitHub project that my friend Gwen built and I actively contribute to that project. So go check it out. It's called learntocloud.guide. It's free. It's an open source guide to help you get started with cloud computing. And as you know, this is Rishab in Cloud. So you can definitely check out my channel with the resources that can help you get started on cloud computing. I have projects. I have AWS, Azure, and GCP videos that can help you with your learning. I hope you like this video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.